So, a few months ago, we posted a video here about how Ghana is dropping the archaic British educational system and adopting STEM education. Tony Blair just wrote a piece uh, talking about uh, the fact that the British education system is not fit for the 21st century. But before Tony Blair wrote this piece, we've been talking about um, the 21st century education, we've been talking about the fourth industrial revolution and why we need to tweak, change, transform a high school curriculum uh, to ensure that we can meet the goals of the 21st century. So if you look at what we are doing now, if you look at the STEM schools that are coming up, this is addition to the free senior high school intervention. Now we are creating a better opportunity for young men and women to go to high school and get quality education that they could not get in 2017. High school? So explain that to us. Uh, well, uh, explaining means we have uh, STEM high schools under construction in this country. What is that, STEM high schools? Uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You see, in the 21st century, it's no longer the issue of just going to school. What you study was you are in school is so critical. You know, we have always trumpeted in this country the idea of uh, getting 60% of our students to do STEM or science-related courses at the university and 40% doing humanities. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the data, I think we were probably kidding around because how do you get 60% to do um, science or STEM-related courses at the university when at the high school only 12.5% are doing science? Mm -hmm. And especially in a country where if you do not do science... So these STEM schools you are building, mm. are you attaching it to Wesley Girls, Presex, or Kopoko? Or what, what, what is it? Is, is it, it more schools you're adding? You see, new schools have been built. Well, that is paying off very well for the country because some young students from a high school in Kumase, Ghana are showcasing big and brilliant brains as they are pushing the boundaries of innovation. This school is called Prempe College, a renowned institution in Kumase, Ghana, where a team of brilliant young minds from this school have just conquered the world of robotics, proving that Ghana and Africa's future is looking brighter and innovative. So let's dive into the story of Prempe College and its incredible victory at the 2024 World Robotic Olympiad. On the count of three, three, two, one, go. And say, glorious Grandpa, The World Robotic Olympiad, WRO, is a global robotics competition designed for young people. In this competition, kids from all over the world build robots to tackle challenges. The whole point of this competition is to get kids excited about science, technology, and engineering STEM by letting them build cool robots and see what they can do with them. Each year, there is a new team and the challenges are based on that team. For example, this year's team was Unknown Mission Challenge. With this, teams face a surprise tax on competition day, forcing them to adapt their robots and problem solving under pressure. But these Ghanaian students weren't faced. They put their months of practice to test, showcasing their technical skills and quick thinking abilities. And guess what? They crushed it. Not only did they win, but their exceptional performance earned them an amazing prize of 80,000 US dollar scholarship to a US university. We are giving holistic education and we wouldn't want our students to be brainy and yet uh, being, uh, what do you call it, limited in hand, uh, hands-on activities. So without even embarking on the STEM uh, education, we had a robotic club and that club has always been winning the world championship. I, last year we won and this year too we have. And so I am very happy and I'm also confident that we are not ending it here. It is very expensive. Um, embarking on such robotic activities. The equipments, everything are very expensive and so 
we will wish that people will come in. This win goes beyond trophies. It is a win for Ghana, showcasing the country's potential in STEM fields and nurturing the next generation of innovators. This Prempe College story is an inspiration. It shows what happens when you combine talented students, dedicated teachers, and a supportive environment. They are a beacon of excellence, proving that with hard work, anything is possible. So, the next time you think of Ghana and Africa, think not just of eight rich mineral resources, but also of eight bright young minds ready to make Mama Africa the greatest among others. So that is all for today's episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name always remains Sharif Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. Makrao.